it's LJ. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this pair of shorts using the Granny Stitch. It's an intermediate level pattern, but it's not too hard. I'm going to take you step by step on how to do it. So don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get started. All you need for this project is some yarn. I'm using a worsted weight acrylic from Hobby Lobby. The color is orange burst. You're going to want at least 500 yards or at least two skeins of this yarn. A size 4 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. Begin with a slip knot. Insert your hook and chain 4. 2, 3, 4. Now do a slip stitch in the first chain and chain three. This will count as our first double crochet stitch. Now do two more right through the center of that loop we just made. So yarn over, insert directly through the center, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's the stitch we're going to be using. If you're unfamiliar with this, please watch my tutorial on basic crochet stitches or my one on how to make a granny square. I'll link those below in the description. And we're just gonna move right along with another double crochet stitch. Chain three. We're pretty much just doing this first round just like we would start a granny square. We're going to do three more double crochet now. One. We're going all these stitches directly through the center. Chain three. Three more double crochet. chain three. One more set of three double crochet. Chain three and do a slip stitch to close the round. We're going to do it in that one, two, third chain. Do a little slip stitch. Okay, so we just have a little square so far. Now chain three. Two, three. And now we're gonna move to this corner space. So do three double crochet right into that corner space. One, two, three, chain three, do three more, double crochet into that same corner space. So we're just making the corner of this next round. Now we're going to move on to the next corner and do the same thing. Three double crochet, chain three, and three more double crochet all into that space. Do the next corner the same way. And now instead of doing this fourth corner, 
we're just going to do one double crochet stitch here. And this is where we will chain three and turn our work. And we're going to go back in the other direction now. Starting with three double crochet now into this space. Our chain will still count as our first double crochet, so we'll just do two more. And then moving back this way, we're going to do another corner. Three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet all into that corner space. Do three double crochet into the next space. And then we're at our corner over here. So do another corner. And just keep repeating the same granny stitch pattern and I'll meet you back at the end of the round and show you how to finish the round off. We're going to end the round the same way we started with a cluster of three double crochet. We'll end it right in this last space. Chain three. Turn your work. We're going to go back in the other direction. So if you can see what we're doing here. It's like an incomplete granny square. We're just doing the same thing. We're just leaving off this corner and going back and forth like this. We will continue with another set of three double crochet into the next space. And then we're just gonna keep doing that pattern all the way till we get to the other end. It's a little bit different this round, but I'll show you what I do at the end there. Okay, when you get to the end of this round, you should have just done three double crochet. We're just gonna do one double crochet now into the corner of this cluster here. Chain three, turn your work. So you can see that row just began and ended with a space and now the next row will begin and end with a cluster and they just kind of alternate because you're going back and forth. I'm going to go back and forth 13 times. I'm making a size large. Uh, if you're making a size medium, you could do 11 or 12 rounds back and forth, size small, 9 or 10. Um, it will stretch a little, so keep that in mind. And just continue with this pattern and I'll show you what I have after 13 rounds. This is what I have after 13 rounds. And the way I count the rounds is from this center in counting down 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is good for a size large or about a size 10. If you need a smaller or bigger size, you would just do either less or more rounds. The best way to measure, honestly, if you're making this for yourself, is to just hold it up against your body as if this was a bikini bottom and this should fit around about half of you. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a second piece just like this for the back side, and then we're gonna sew them together. So here's my second piece, exactly the same. And we're gonna line them up. When you cut your yarn, leave a good amount of length on the end because oh, here. we're going to use the yarn from this end to sew up this side and the yarn from this end to sew this side. So line up your work. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. flip this to this side because it's easier for me to sew this way because I'm right-handed. Um, pick up that loop where you left off, yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through. And now line up your work. The way I make sure my work stays straight is I'm going to line up where the spaces are here and bring your yarn over. We're going to do a sewing method to join these two pieces. So go go with your hook through the corners, yarn over, pull all the way through, bring the yarn back over, and now go through the first two stitches of those clusters, pull through, and just keep going back and forth like this sewing with your yarn and whenever I get to a space between clusters I always go through directly through both spaces that way I know my work will be straight Once you've gotten to the other side, this is what our seam looks like. It's pretty clean and flat looking. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this open actually until I've sewn the other side and I'm gonna try it on and make sure that it fits before I cut and tie off this end. Once you've sewn your two pieces together, this is kind of what we have going now. And you can try this around your waist to see if it fits appropriately. And if so, you can go ahead and cut and tie off these ends. And just take this end and weave it in. Um, you can just use your crochet hook. I like to go back through a couple stitches and then pull that yarn through. And then my favorite method of tying off here, I'll zoom in again. I'll take the end of the yarn and I will split it in two. And I'll grab one of those halves and bring it through another stitch and then tie them together around that stitch. And then cut. You can do the same thing to the other side. The next step in the project is to add the shorts on either side. So grab your yarn, make a, another slip knot, and we're going to start on either one of these sides. Let's start on this side. Start at one of these spaces right at the bottom of our seam. Insert your hook and do a 
slip stitch, followed by two chain. So it's kind of like three chain. One's a slip stitch, two chain, and then do two more double crochet into that same space. And we're going to continue this granny stitch pattern of three double crochet into each of the spaces from the previous round. And we're going to do that down this side until we get to the corner and I'll show you what to do there. So when you get to the corner, do another three double crochet in this corner and then skip and do another three double crochet in this corner and move back down this back side. We're going to go back and forth in a loop on this side and you're going to go as many rounds depending on what length shorts you would like. So there's three, and then you might want to just rotate your work a little bit. Do another three into the other corner. And continue along that edge. When you get Back to where you started, you're going to do one final cluster of three double crochet into the corner space. And we'll end the round with a slip stitch into that one, two, third chain where we started. Chain three and do two more double crochet into that same space and continue with the granny stitch pattern all the way around and however many rounds you do is kind of up to you if you want some short shorts or some booty shorts, you really only have to do a couple rounds on either side for this section. If you want some longer shorts, uh, do, I don't know, maybe up to 10 rounds. And like I said, just do as many rounds as you think, try it on, and if you like it, great. And if you don't, maybe keep going or take some out and it's kind of just part of the learning process. When you get back down towards the bottom, this is what it looks like. If you're holding it like this. And I do a, another cluster of three double crochet right, kind of just like this. like that and then continue on to the space. So we came down here. There's the bottom. We're coming back up this way. And when you get to the end of this round, end it with a slip stitch in that top chain, chain three. And this time, instead of starting a cluster here, we're going to move over and start our first cluster here. Because otherwise we're going to kind of start moving diagonally backwards and we want to keep it straight. So this row will do our first cluster in the next one over. And when you get to the end of this round, you will end it with two double crochet into this space. And this chain will count as the third in that cluster. And then we will alternate how we start and end the round. So just to show you what I mean real quick, I'm at the end of that round. 
You're going to end it with two double crochet right in the space where your chain's coming out of. And then do a slip stitch in the top chain. And that counts as your third stitch. And then chain three. And this next round, you're going to start your first cluster right where your chain came out of. And you're just going to alternate how you start each row. And that's going to keep where we're starting those rows in the same spot. Otherwise, we kind of start moving backwards down the work. So I'm going to go ahead and do about seven rounds for each of the legs. And then I'll show you what my work looks like then. So I just went ahead and did seven rows of that granny stitch on either side. I did exactly the same. This is what it looks like. Seems like seven rows is a good amount for a pair of short shorts. You could certainly go more rows, maybe 10 or 12 for a pair of regular length shorts. That part is kind of up to you. And the last step will be to add an additional border on top so that our shorts sit higher and snug around our waist. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully my process is making sense for you guys. Please feel free to leave any questions you might have below in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you stay up to date on all my latest projects and patterns. And now I'll show you how to add this border real quick. I'm going to be using a different color. I have this coral color. I think it's actually called Mango from I Love This Yarn. Uh, it's good to use the same weight as you were using before. And we're just going to add this little pop of color and it's going to make a nice little border around our waist. So I'm going to start our border right where our seam is going down the side. Zoom in a little bit. Make another slip knot. And we're going to work into the spaces between our clusters. We're just working from the side now, but we're doing the same thing. So make a slip knot, chain three, do two more double crochets, and continue along this top border doing the same thing with the granny stitch. We're just working at it from the side now. And go around the whole the whole perimeter of the waist. And then I'll show you what our next round will be. So this is what we have, just having gone once around the top. The second round, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're just going to do double crochet, one in each stitch all the way around. And we're going to do a little decrease here also so that our pattern kind of goes in towards the top to fit nice and snug around our waist. So go ahead and start double crocheting until you get here and I'll show you how to do a decrease. Chain three. Just doing one double crochet in each stitch. So right when you get to the center, kind of where you started, where you started right here, where that square is. So this little bunch here, we're gonna do a a two stitch decrease. So we're gonna crochet three together into one stitch. And the way you do that is you do a yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and now hold. Now do the same thing in the next stitch. So it's like an incomplete double crochet. We're gonna start another stitch the same way. 
yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do it one more time where you yarn over, insert through the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And now you should have four loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. So we just crocheted three into one as a decrease. And now continue with your double crochet around until you get to the opposite side and you will do another decrease in the same spot. And I'm just gonna do this for two rounds with the double crochet and the two decreases in the front and back. So we'll have three rounds in total for the border around our waist and I'll show you what my finished project looks like in a second. And here's the finished shorts. I went ahead and just finished the border on top. I actually ended up doing four rows to have a little bit thicker waistline and I added this drawstring. If you want to add this, it's super easy. Just chain at least 200. I did 220 for a large and then just go ahead and weave it in between one of these rows. How cute is that? Try them on, make sure they fit. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this pattern and don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming projects. Thanks for watching.